Now, whenever we discuss the question, should Christians participate in holidays such as Halloween, there are always some folks that ask, well, what about Christmas and Easter? If you're going to say that Christians shouldn't participate in Halloween activities because many pagan festivals were held on the same day, isn't it true that on Christmas and Easter, these also were days on which pagan festivals were held, yet you still hold Christmas and Easter celebrations? So what's the difference? Well, Dr. Jim Bjornstead answers those questions. Listen. Well, John, there's no denying the fact that uh, Christmas, of course, goes back to the Roman Saturnalia, which was a pagan festival. Uh, and Easter goes back to the idea of the fertility cults. And certainly Halloween goes back to the Celts and uh, their understanding of the dead and involvement and activity and things that they did. So they all have a commonality, as you mentioned, in terms of heathen pagan religions. But there's a difference. When the church uh, went and took those holidays, and what they did was to add to them to try to make something that was Christian. For Christmas, of course, they put the birth of Christ. Now, I know that when Christmas comes, there are secular items to it because we're very mass market oriented in terms of gifts and everything else. I know the Christmas tree is there and that has some roots in paganism. But what I think about Christmas, and there's a solid biblical content to it, is that it is the day when God entered human history, the Lord Jesus Christ was born. When I think of Easter, well, I don't think of Easter eggs and uh, little chickens and bunny rabbits and all the rest. What I think about is the fact that Jesus Christ raised bodily from the dead. However, when I come to Halloween, it's very different. When I think of Halloween, what is there? What is there? Now, some might say, well, let's go back to All Hallows Day and we're going to worship the saints and remember the saints and uh, that's a Roman Catholic tradition. And the idea basically on that night was to pray for the dead, to do expiatory, to do some sacrifices, uh, to do prayers on behalf of the dead so somehow we might gain merit for them in terms of the afterlife. But that's not what the Bible teaches. What is there in the tradition of Halloween in Halloween today that is in any way a Christian message, a godly message, what is there? It's nothing more than that which emulates paganism.